guys want to introduce yourselves? Yeah. Uh, I'm John Middlestad. I'm a sophomore at the University of Minnesota, and uh, I play hockey. I am Zach Weiss. I'm also a sophomore here at the University of Minnesota. I play hockey, too. <laughs> and I'm Emma Churches, and today I'll be asking them some questions for Behind the Game, and we'll be coloring some pretty pictures. How did you guys end up becoming Golden Gophers? Um, for me, it was always just like, obvious decision. I always wanted to go to Minnesota. I grew up going to the games and uh, I had a few other colleges that wanted to reach out but we kind of just said no because we wanted to, me and my brother both wanted to go to Minnesota and uh, then coach Motsko came over to my house and we just talked in our backyard for a little bit and he asked us if we wanted to tour the place and we were like, we don't really need to tour it. We're just ready to commit. So Really? You committed on the spot <laughs> yeah, in your just, backyard? We just committed right there, and that was it for us. So, yeah. Okay. What yeah. about you, Zach? My story's a little different. Uh, I did not. I committed here, it was late June of last year, or the year before, I guess. So I'm a sophomore, yeah. So late June, uh, I, guess I got a call on the blue from, I had an advisor at the time, and uh, he called me and said, uh, would you be interested in, Going, going to the University of Minnesota. I'm like, of course, being a Minnesota kid, I think everyone would, would always want to come here. And it was just kind of like a quick thing. Just uh, just came up for a visit one one day and said yes, and now I'm here. Out of the experience that you guys have had here, what would you say is your most exciting rivalry to play against? Um, I think so far it's been North Dakota. Uh, playing last year in Minnesota, getting that atmosphere, just, you know, there's just so much history between North Dakota and Minnesota, and this year we went to Grand Forks to play them at their Ralph Engelstead Arena, and it was just crazy atmosphere, and I could feel, like, the, feel the tension, like, right once I walked in there, so I think that's been the most heated rivalry so far, for sure. I would agree with John. That is all. That's a fun rivalry that we have with them. Just the, going up there this year was was really cool to see how they what they do for their fans. Because last year they, we played them here and we it was a, lot, a lot of fun. Just uh, mm -hmm. those two, that team, and then yeah. I'd say Michigan too. It's always mm -hmm. it's always fun playing them. Just because yeah. we play them four times a year and just the intensity that it always brings. Yeah. Between the both of you, who do you think has better game day outfits? <laughs> I like to think I have a pretty good game day outfit, <laughs> but I've come to realize that my I, I always don't match, and <laughs> so I don't. John always puts together pretty outfits. I don't but. think I put together the best outfits. If I had better apparel, <laughs> I definitely would, but I don't have the greatest apparel, so I just I can't. I just kind of yeah. wing it, you know. I can't find a way to match everything. I got so much. I get like crazy shirts and like patterns and you always. Struggle with get, colors yes, a little bit. Just, it can't get them to match all the yeah. time. So do you guys? end up going home a lot with your free time? Uh, yeah, I go home all the time. I'm definitely a homebody. I go home every Sunday and I go to my local church in Eden Prairie and hang out with my family during the day. It's just kind of my my weekly routine. And unfortunately with classes this semester, I don't get to go home as much, but um, last semester I went home during the week as well. So I tend to make it home like once Every other weekend around there, just go. Cause usually, well, usually I go to see my girlfriend, but then also see my family sometimes when they can't make it up to games. Mm -hmm. So that's really why I, I tend to go home. Uh, we play sewer with a soccer ball. We get to keep it up in the air. And yeah. a fan was there early walking around, and he joined us. And it was he had, he had this oh, big yeah. cowboy hat. Yeah. It, was, it was so yeah, funny. That was, that was probably the coolest one we've had so far. Then I remember a player on Michigan spit on a fan last year. I mean, that's not a huge deal, but. <laughs> and nothing that, nothing that I've seen, honestly. So, out of everything that you guys have seen the student section do for your games, what's something memorable that you notice about them? Um, I think it's really cool when we have the gold out and we have the the gold. They give them the gold pom poms. I think that's like, that's very memorable for me. It's just, I can just picture it in my head. So that's that's a big thing for me. And, uh, yeah, I just think it's really cool when we do the gold out. One thing that I always remember is my first time skating on the ice when they when they chant the do the Minnesota Rouser. That is, yeah. that, I will always remember that. That's True. that's so cool and 
we have when the, the stadium's packed, so many fans doing that. What was the coolest place that you got to go to for an away game? Tampa Bay last year, Frozen Four, for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. it's like, not even close. Yeah, it was kind of disappointed the way it ended, but I think the trip was, like, amazing. There was, it was great to get out of Minnesota at that time of year. You know, it's the worst time. You don't know if it's going to be 20 <laughs> degrees or 60 degrees. It's yeah. just, so, yeah, it was, like, 80 degrees there, so. Yeah, but so also, we went to Arizona State ooh. last year over Thanksgiving, and Matthew and I had a place there, and we had, uh, we had, like, a little Thanksgiving dinner which was really fun. We played beach volleyball. That was a really cool trip. So yeah, I would say those two. I'd agree with you there. And then the North Dakota trip. I mean, yeah, just, that like, too. Just going up there, it's really cool, but the, the nice places, like like the nicer places like Tampa and the, uh, Arizona were definitely up there. Uh-huh. Do you guys normally room with the same people for every away game? Yes, I room with Charlie Strobel on our team. Okay. Yeah, I'm with Oliver Moore, okay. so. Might I pair you with your brother? No. <laughs> I got lucky. <laughs> no. Before a game, um, I usually do, a, when I'm at home, I do just like ground beef and rice. That's really it. Just Before straight up. Game. Yeah, just straight up. Um, <laughs> I love that meal. Like, it's the most boring meal ever, but I can eat it every day. Never get sick of it. So, yeah, I've been doing that. Um, on the road, we just do pasta. Mm -hmm. After games, oh, we have this shout out to Baldi's. Baldi's this, barbecue. Um, barbecue. Oh, Baldi's so barbecue. good. Mm -hmm. um, Always does a great job. He, yeah, he hooks up, hooks us up with some really good food. So mm -hmm. we do that after games, and then Chipotle Saturday night. So. Mm -hmm. And we, then for, we also have Tanucci's that we eat before. Yeah. Home games. Tanucci's, yes. That's uh, right. Like, I usually get that. That's really yeah. good. Have you guys been able to go to any big like Minneapolis? games for professional teams at all? Uh, I went to a wild game this year and got to see Brock Faber play, which is pretty cool. Sat next to him in the locker room last year, so it's crazy to see him out there. And uh, he's doing so well, too. You? Please, sir? Me? I, I, went to a wild I went to a few last year. I think only one this year so far. And last year, I also went to a few Vikings games. Oh yeah. I, yeah. Oh yeah. I went to the Viking game last year against the Colts, oh, where they came back. Did you stay for the whole game? I did. <laughs> I told. Good. I was. I jokingly told my friends. I was like, "We're coming back." <laughs> <laughs> so, is there a team that you look at in the NCAA that you have not played against, but you would like to? Uh yeah, the teams out. I think like the Boston College. Yeah. Teams out there. Well, I guess we played Boston University last year. Yeah, Boston. Like, yeah, Boston teams like Boston mm -hmm. College, Boston University. Boston College has been like ranked one all mm -hmm. year, so mm -hmm. I think it'd be a good challenge for us to play play those type of teams. Mm -hmm. I think they also play a little differently than all the Big Ten teams. So, mm -hmm. who would you say in the locker room is the group clown? Uh, we got a few guys. I'd yeah, say, we got a lot. I'd say Charlie Strobel. Yeah, Charlie Big clown. Strobel for sure. Cal Thomas is a sneaky clown yeah, too. Yeah, he's, he's been he, a clown he, lately. Yeah, he, last wow. year he was, he was pretty quiet. He now came he's into the year very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking out of his shell, and it's he, he's, a, he's, he's a clown. He's still like quiet though. He just throws one-liners mm -hmm. out that you wouldn't expect, and they're they're, <laughs> they're pretty they're, they're pretty good one-liners. Yeah. I'll give him credit. Carl Fish. Carl, Carl Fish is he, funny he's a clown. too. Wow, he is a funny dude. My older brother is an alumni. He played here for a year, and I think he he tells me to just you know take it in and enjoy it because he he was only here for one year, but he said that year went by like so quick, and uh, I've been realizing how fast it's already going by for me, and this is my second year, so mm -hmm. yeah, just taking it all in and having fun. And looks good, man. Thank you. No, I'm getting there. Okay, what would you guys say makes the University of Minnesota so special? For, for hockey, like the program, the, the history of that, that, I think that's always the, what, 100, it's 400, 3, 4, 100, 5, somewhere yeah, around there. Somewhere 100 like years that. of hockey, and I think that's a, yeah. a really incredible thing that, mm -hmm. and, we, and we still do the, the Pride on Ice, which was, has, been, has been our program for a while. Minnesota is so known for hockey, and 
they could very easily get good hockey players from Minnesota because of the rich history and all the good talent that's come out of there. Okay, who on your team would you not want to line up against in a game? I think that's a good question. Hmm. Well, for me as a goalie, I don't want to go against G that whole top line we got, Jimmy, Oliver, and uh, Rhett. Yeah. I mean, those those guys, those, those guys' shots are incredible, and it's, yeah. in practice it's so hard to stop those guys. Mm -hmm. For me, I think, like, in the corner, like, playing, like, physical hockey probably, like, I think Carl's really good physically. Mm -hmm. Like, I think he's very strong and hard to play against in the corners. But for just, like, pure skill, I think, like, Jimmy is, Jimmy Snugger is the hardest player to play against because he, he's so smart and so good with his stick. Also, Red Pitlick is just so fast. So shifty. You can't even, you don't even know what he's doing. He's moving so fast. <laughs> is there an NHL player that you guys looked up to when you were growing up and playing? I always watched the Penguins growing up. I always watched Sidney Crosby. Me and my brothers just, like, obsessed over him growing up. Mine was uh, Henrik Lundqvist. I don't know. I just I, I love the Rangers colors, and he was a goalie for the Rangers, and it just always stuck with me. He, he was always my favorite, but I also like Jonathan Quick because I don't know, just the, the way the way he played was always really cool when I was younger. Is there somebody that works within your program that you think makes a difference in who you are as a person? Um, I think uh, Paul Martin. He's yeah. our director. Yeah. What, what the, the, the director of play development. Yeah, so something like that. Yeah. And he also helps us with uh, with, we have a leadership group that we meet with on our team, and he he's taught us like a whole bunch of new aspects of like teamwork and how, how to come together and just a whole bunch of things like that. And I think he he does a great job with that and helps us out. Yeah, I think him and uh, uh, Ben Gordon, the assistant coach. I think he's just very positive energy in the locker room, and I think the forwards. He's a forward coach, and we all really like him a lot. He just very smart too he knows the game super well and he's also just very positive and sometimes we need that so what's your guys' favorite uniform combo that you wear uh right now i think it's the gold jerseys the, this year's gold jerseys are yeah. very cool right now and aren't we three and all four and all in those now i think three and all in those jerseys yeah, yeah. three and all saturday nights we've been wearing them and we've mm -hmm. been playing pretty good with them so and they look sweet so yeah they do i would say those Minnesota hockey is very into like the history of like the jerseys, so like mm -hmm. they don't like to really do anything new and just kind of stick with like the basics. Yeah. But I think it'd be cool if they brought in a black jersey. Yeah. I think that'd be sweet. Black or gray for sure. Black helmet. Oh like, yeah, ooh. that'd be very cool. <laughs> What's the craziest or funniest thing you guys have heard on the ice to you or to someone else from your entire career? Maybe, oh, oh I think uh, against Ohio State, Jimmy getting speared. Oh. <laughs> that, this, that was a yeah, crazy. this Ohio State player just, the game was like over, and Jimmy went to the bench, just leaning over the bench like this, and Ohio State player came, speared Jimmy like right here. In the chest. And then the ref took him down, just body slammed him. <laughs> that, was, that, that was crazy. <laughs> I didn't, the crazy part is that I didn't see it during the game either. Yeah. I, I saw it all in film I, afterwards, yeah, I'm, I'm and replay. I was like, how did I not <laughs> see that? <laughs> <laughs> that was that was crazy. What do you think is the hardest skill to learn in your sport and within your respective mm. positions? That's a good question. I, I think for goalie, it's skating and edge work. I mean, that's really the most important thing that you need to know as a goalie, but that's also very hard to learn to be mm. at, at an elite level to do that. Yeah. Um, I think something that's, like, very hard to learn in hockey is just, like, your ability to see the game and uh, I think it's something that you don't really just like you can't just master you know you kind of just like have it or you kind of don't so I think that's a big thing. Are there any notable players from when you guys were in high school or growing up that you got to play against that you remember to this day? One player mm -hmm. I grew up playing against who was always really good was like and now he's on our team is like Mike Kester was always so good growing up uh, also Garrett Pinonimi was really good growing up as well he I always played against him I always and I played with him in some tournaments and uh, 
yeah, I'd say those two for me. They're like the first that come to my head. Also, another guy that was in my grade was Bobby Brink, who now plays for the Flyers. He was unbelievable growing up, and he was up for Hobie Baker, I think, last year, two years ago. I did p play against Brody Lamb. That's really probably the only guy I can really think of, and he's on our team now, but uh, playing down in Southern Minnesota, you don't come across a whole bunch of you know, guys that continue to play hockey yeah. after high school. Uh, the biggest moment for me was probably just like Frozen Four games, knowing that like this is being streamed on ESPN right now, and there's a lot of people watching it, and also the we were playing at the Tampa Bay Lightning Arena, and it was completely full. I think that was like the biggest moment for me was playing on that massive stage. The first time skating out to the our first game. Mm -hmm. I'll no, never forget that moment. I think for me, like, like the best welcome to college experience was it wasn't. It was like our team. We did a team golf scramble, oh, yeah. and I think that was just that, like that's really fun. that was really fun because I got to know everybody and. It just like showed everybody's like, like goofy side and stuff mm -hmm. like that, and yeah, I think that was the most memorable moment where I was like, okay, I'm in college now. Like this is this is pretty awesome. So <laughs> yeah. Is there a rule that you guys in your position would like to see implemented into college hockey? I think I think you should be able to kick the puck in the neck, net. I, think that's I, I don't agree with that yeah, one. Yeah, you're a goalie. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I think you should be able to kick the puck. <laughs> I think you should. Or at least, like, headbutt it in the net. I Yeah, that's fine. If you can headbutt the puck in, that's, yeah. that'll work out for you. The goaltender interference rule is it's a crazy rule. It's It can be misunderstood in many ways. I think there needs to be a cut-and-clear rule yeah, on the side true. of his. Have you guys ever gotten into a real fight on the ice? Uh, junior, junior hockey last year, I got, in, I got one fight in practice. Uh, didn't get hit. I think I, I got him once. He was my own teammate. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I got in one in a preseason game, and I also didn't get hit, which was good. But uh, yeah, I think I took him down there, so that was cool. No fights for me. I've been asked one time, but I had a shutout going. I didn't want to ruin it, but the fight, so I, I, I declined. With another goalie? Yeah, the other, goalie, the other goalie wanted to fight. I'm like, ah, I can't. Do you guys have a favorite place in Dinky Town to eat? In Dink I, Tony's Breakfast, I do like that. Yeah, I love Tony's That'd be my breakfast. Favorite breakfast. That's my favorite. So do well. you guys have a Dream NIL collab that you got to pick Ooh, right now? That's mm. a good question. I'd say I'd say Lululemon, their clothing brand. Oh, I, yeah, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of their clothing brand. Some golf brand where I could get like some sick clubs for free or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, I would say like TaylorMade or uh, also get some good golf clothes. Is there someone on your team that you would like to swap skills with? Uh, Rep Hitlick for me. He's just got crazy skills, or Oliver Moore. I think uh, I'm a little jealous of them at times. That, that's just the, the speed. I oh, got the speed too, though. Yeah, but I don't have the hands like they do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I would say those two. I'll swap with Justin Close. Uh, why not? He, he's not too bad. Yeah, he's been pretty uh, good. Lately, he hasn't so. been playing too bad, so I'd swap with him. But I'd swap with the player. I don't know. Probably Oliver Moore, or Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy too. Yeah, won't be bad to have that slap shot. If you could have someone else's body type as a gopher athlete within your sport, whose would you like to have? Oh, Parker Fox is probably too tall for hockey, I'd say. Do you think he, I don't even know what tall he is. Uh, he probably would be too tall for, for hockey. I feel like I really... No, you know what, I would take, I would take Parker Fox. Because then I could just stand that front <laughs> and nobody could move me. I would love the height. Or or maybe maybe uh, Cade McConnell, he's in my class. He he's, he's a lineman for the Gophers. Mm -hmm. I'd love to have that size in the net. <laughs> True. Would you guys ever want to play in a European league? I would. Oh yeah, I'd for be sure. sure I would. Switzerland, Germany, 
Yeah, I Sweden, would. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be very cool. Yeah, I think it'd be really cool to live in Europe for a few years. What would you say is the most fun thing to do in Minneapolis for a visitor? Go to the golf or hockey games. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's number one right there. Only thing you can do when you come here. Maybe go to Tony's for breakfast. Coming up and watching games when I was younger, watching all like the the golfers now that are in the NHL and like knowing like I watched them when I was younger, it's just such a cool. Yeah, thing. true. I agree. When you were younger, was there another profession that you considered aside from wanting to play hockey? I considered football. I played football in high school, mm -hmm. and I could have played on in college, but I'm not the tallest person, so I figured probably not the best for me, and I, I always loved hockey, so it was hard not to choose that. I was only thinking about hockey. I never really thought about anything else. Is there a home-cooked meal that you guys would mm. be able to eat the rest of your life? I know you said <laughs> rice and ground beef, but... <laughs> Aside from that, <laughs> uh, just steak, any type of steak. <laughs> you would eat that every day for the rest. Of I your would life. eat. I would eat that every day for the rest of my life, and I don't think I'd ever get sick of it. So some some steak with a uh, side of mashed potatoes, or uh, yeah, just I I usually do air fried potatoes too, and those are so good. Oh, that sounds awful. Awful? <laughs> yes. Oh, it's so good. Steak I would, and I potatoes. would do tater tot hot dish. I think oh, tater every tater time I go home, good. I've never had that. You never had it? Oh, no. oh so that's good. My stuff. mom, my mom knows that's my favorite. She she makes a lot. That is my favorite going home. You're almost done with your second oh, yeah. one. My third one. A third. I'm yeah. still on my first one. I've done a lot. So well, a lot of colors in there. I don't really mix and match them all. There's my second one. Third one. Yeah. That's actually <laughs> impressive. <laughs> this is mine so far. I'm a lot slower than Zach, I guess, <laughs> but I think I'm. I think it looks pretty good. That's nice. I don't know. Still learning to draw in the lines at times, but. I got Team USA <laughs> over here, That's probably impressive. winning the national championship. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> looks good. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Thank you guys for yeah. joining me for yeah, the that was third awesome. episode of the That's show. That's amazing. You remembered all those questions. Thank you for listening. Thanks hope for listening. You, I hope you enjoyed my drawing. And uh, <laughs> come to some gopher games. Yeah, in the come future. to some gopher games. So thank you. Well, you guys can support them on the Dinky Town Athletes website, and we will be watching you guys the rest of your season. Hopefully, making it pretty far. Yeah, oh, yeah. hopefully. <laughs>